Accountability. Accountability. Wow. You know, does it really even exist very much anymore? You know, I mean, I really feel sorry for our youth because where are they seeing accountability in our world? You know, big business doesn't want to take accountability for anything that they're doing. People are suing each other because nobody wants to step up and say, hey, guilty, I'm sorry, let me take care of you. They're saying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And so they each get their own attorneys and they're fighting it out. We have a governmental system that doesn't necessarily show that people can be accountable. And it gets frustrating. It's very frustrating in business where you have a business relationship with somebody. They say they're going to do something and they don't do it. We've all had that, right? We've all experienced those moments where we have a contractual agreement with somebody and when the time comes that they're supposed to deliver on their service or to provide the goods that they've said that they would provide to you, they're nowhere to be seen. Sometimes they don't return your phone call. Sometimes they give you some cockamamie excuse as to why they're not able to, to fulfill their agreement. And I believe wholeheartedly that it's really important for us, if we're going to step back into a world of accountability, that we hold people accountable, that we assist them to bring that value back into their world, back into the way in which they operate. I know you'll feel much better knowing that you can make a big difference by simply sitting down with somebody who seems to not be living up to their promise, who seems to be finding better ways to make excuses, to finding ways to not fulfill their agreement and do the honorable thing by simply sitting down with them and saying something like this. You and I had an agreement that you were going to perform these services by such and such a time, and that didn't happen. I would like you to keep your agreement. I would like you to complete your agreement with me in terms of providing to me that which you said you were going to provide to me. You know, that's one way. That's just one example. The other, you know, very simple example is just to say, hey, you said you were going to do such and such, and I'd like to see you follow through on that. Because how often do we let people slide? We let people get away with it. And when we let people get away with it, what does that say? That says that it's okay. That says that they can continue to do that. But in order for us to create an honorable society, one that's based on accountability, one that people can say that their word is their bond and that the shake of a hand is still as valued as it used to be for our grandparents and great-grandparents, we've lost that. We can turn that around. We can make a significant difference in our world and assist other people to learn to be accountable by simply reminding them of the importance of doing so. So if you can find it within your way, you know, when somebody challenges you by not following through and you're frustrated and you're angry and instead of, instead of keeping it in, instead of getting frustrated, instead of turning into an argument, instead of firing them instead of getting angry, all that stuff that we do when people don't do what they say they're going to do, we just simply ask them to be accountable. Try it. See how it makes a big difference in your life, but more importantly, the difference that you're going to make in their life. This is Mark Hughes with Good Karma Tips. Thank you for joining us. As we continue to explore conscious solutions to our world's most pressing problems, be a part of the conversation and subscribe to our Karma Talks channel. Thank you.